And we're back. Did you miss me? Of course you did. Did you miss my sweater? Of course it is. Well, I wore it again. Isn't it pretty? I love sweaters. Sweater weather. I say spring is my favorite season because you get to wear pastels and white shoes, but I really do love sweaters. I have 26 of them that live in Southern California, so kind of weird because it's not really cold that often here. But when it is, I am prepared. So my name is Dusty Thompson. Reading Almost Otis. It's my book, My Preppy Life with My Redneck Dad. Buy your copy. If you haven't bought your copy, buy a copy. If you already bought a copy, buy one for your mama. She needs one for Christmas. Support small businesses. I am a small business. Probably bigger than I should be, but still a small business. Buy my book, all right? Express some Christmas cheer into my pocket. So if you are following along, we're on page 321. The blog dated Thursday, June 19th, 2014. He is departing with recliner and dog. <clears throat> Unlike Dion of Vreeland, I was unable to arrange to be born in Paris. I was born in Lake Providence, Louisiana, literally on the banks of the Mississippi River, a fitting start to a gypsy life lived on the periphery. And when I say gypsy, I mean in relation to constant movement as opposed to the wearing of headscarves and bangle jewelry, usually. Just like in Cher's memorable hit, there are additionally both tramps and thieves in my family. The original words were gypsies and white trash, and I've got some of them too. I'm not saying who, I'm just saying. They know who they are. We moved on the average of once every 18 months throughout my formative years, but always in the same general vicinity. I call it Oklahoma, Texippi. Y'all would call it the boonies. Some of my readers call it home. Some of my viewers call it home. In my leadership video on YouTube, funniest leadership speech ever, eight million views, thank you very much. I define the boonies as a place so far outside the city limits, even animals question your presence. And it's true. The animal that in me, the animal that is me, questioned mostly to myself the constant movement. Whether we were running from or towards something, we were making good time. And I still do that to this day. I don't care where I'm going or how long I have to get there. I want to be in the front of all the traffic. I want to be in the front. It's where you're supposed to be is in the front. My sister will tell you that it's true. She does the same thing. Hey, Chantel. If she's driving right now, she's going to be in the front. That's just how we are. From birth through high school graduation at 17, my family lived in 19 houses in 10 towns in five states. <laughs> Combining college and graduate school, I spent seven years at three schools, all mercifully in the state of Mississippi. If you're doing the math, I had two junior years, and that is a whole different story. My nickname in college was Pick a Major Already, Dustin. I finally did, but that's why I ended up with a double major concentration and three minors. Since I began working for the Department of Veterans Affairs in 1998, I have lived in 15 houses in 12 cities in 11 states, all of them decorated within, within an inch of their lives. It's a lot of throw pillows. Ben can tell you we have an extraordinary number of fabulous throw pillows. True story. And I wonder is wanderlust innate or learned? My mother lived in the same house from the age of two until she married and the dad's family stayed in the same general vicinity most of his life. It seems we were the inaugural gypsies. My siblings and I have mirrored this behavior to a degree, but with way cuter outfits. No offense to Stevie Nicks, but I cannot pull off those outfits. My sister has moved several times, but nothing outside of the norm. My brother's in the Air Force, so he and his family more off move often, but it is a requirement of his commitment. I have moved many times to get where I wanted to be in my career. Fortunately, I have nothing living in my house except me, no pets, no plants, no children, no spouse, in that order. I have a spouse now, still no plants, pets, or children, and it's delightful, and I adore him. He's fabulous. Hey, Ben. He's my very sexy cameraman. I recently added the dad, I recently asked the dad why we moved so much, and he insisted it was always for a better job, and I have no reason to think he's hiding something, although moving with the gooseneck trailer in the middle of the night from Oklahoma to Louisiana bears questioning. And I have asked the questions, and I have been stopped with no answers, so you know it's something shady. That's how that works. We only did it once to my recollection, so I guess I believe him. About that, I mean. I don't believe him about many things. However, because he is only a passing familiarity with the truth. It's not so much he tells lies on a consistent basis, it's more he's told the same lies so often he really doesn't remember they're untrue. And I understand it to a point. I used to lie so much about my family's financial situations, I forget when, now, when I tell the truth, people don't believe me. Ooh, I used to lie so much about how much money we have, knowing we were broke and sad and poor. I pretended we lived in Morningside in Paris, Texas, and you know we couldn't have paid for an acorn off one of them trees. 
but whatever. I tell the truth now all the time. And the only reason I'm even talking about it is the dad is moving on again. He is returning to Louisiana to live with his sister, the sainted Aunt Gladys, she of the peanut butter cake fame. That's some good peanut butter cake, y'all. Y'all don't even know. Whew, that woman can cook. He has decided there is too much town out here in the land of the heathen, and he wants to go back where they have trees and things. The fact town never stops from San Francisco to San Jose bothers him. I did drive him out to where the trees and the cows live, but the fact that it took 45 minutes and I wouldn't let him get a hot dog at the Sonic by the tractor supply store did not bolster my case. And I don't know why I didn't buy him a hot dog. I love Sonic hot dogs. They call them conies. I'm all about a cone with some chili and some cheese and some tater tots. I introduced Ben to Sonic recently. He likes it. Of course he would. Tater tots are the perfect food. I argued the fact there's both a Sonic and a tractor supply store, but he countered with, Fine, we can live in this parking lot then. So you see, I had no choice. I am unaccustomed to living in a parking lot and have no desire to get outside of my comfort zone by being, well, outside. If I could get one of those tech nerds out here to figure a way to get me to work, shopping, and church through a series of air conditioner tubes, I'd be good to go. And y'all big geniuses at Google need to invent those already. Or Elon Musk do some quit worrying about trying to do a really cool spaceship truck and get me an air conditioned tube to get me to the store. It's not that hard. Shouldn't be. Just as I've been unleashed into the blogosphere, I am unleashing the dad on the Metropolitan, Shreveport, Bossier City. God bless Tisa Payne Gray's the only one I know still lives in Bossier City. Hope he didn't find you. He'll live at the end of a red dirt road, off a gravel road, off the main road in Bethany, Louisiana, which I am assured is on the map. I looked. It's not. But he must enter the city limits for doctor's appointments at the VA and the occasional trip to the casino buffets or Piccadilly. So gird your loins, folks. He's a coming with recliner and dog. What I shared in the blog was true. He constantly complained about town doesn't stop, but he never said he wanted to leave. At that point, he really didn't know what else to do. I felt I was making the best decision for me and my career. I felt I had honored my father as a good son should, but I also felt the need to focus on me. So I could have the life I wanted and had worked so hard to achieve and the one I know my mother and he wanted for me. I had finally gotten past feeling like I was being selfish when I focused on my well-being, not giving everything I had to other people. I did not get the job in San Diego. However, I was selected as Assistant Healthcare System Director in Long Beach, California, where I am right now. Woohoo! And started the position on January 25th, 2015, and I am still here, still trucking around and loving life. Benny Boo Boo is with me in Long Beach, and we love it where you're never going to go. I do not regret the decision I made, although I do regret causing the dad any pain. We were back on our normal speaking terms within two weeks of his returning to Louisiana. I guess a good biscuit with red eye gravy and a homemade peanut butter cake, my Aunt Gladys' signature dish, can soothe even the most injured of feelings. And I know that for sure, because she's it soothed my injured feelings on a number of occasions with that peanut butter cake. And we'll end there, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.